Hello guys and welcome to round number four of the Battle Arena scrims for tonight. So uh, this is just going to be a recording here, not a live stream, but uh, hopefully anyone who is able to watch this, you know, will be able to recap on the action that takes place at Roundup tonight's events here. And uh, just a minor recap in the first round, we did see Red Sea able to take away that victory there and uh that was a pretty good move from them as they were able to really hold that circle uh very tightly there uh just in the last round we saw also geek fam take uh the chicken dinner as well as they did manage to keep four players up there and really go at the rest of the team members that we did see here so now looking at this uh game here we are just uh getting into it we see bala de mar will see six gaming there all by themselves and monte nuevo we'll see that minnow copy will be by themselves as well so red sea again going back towards power grid here as they do enjoy that particular area geek fam looks as though they're going to campo militar their own favorite spot la bandita here is going to be joined by team old man at the moment and uh from the looks of things we have a, a couple of uh randoms i if not mistaken in uh just for fun squad I, I think that some of them did leave so uh unfortunately they're not playing here but it looks like picado is going to see a number of teams here as we do see that resurgence here going for one of their favorite spots here and they are joined together with noob agus as well and uh squad 18 is going to be gift esports so they're going to try and put a little bit of a squeeze onto interest pam here who's a uh, bit positioned a little bit away from the rest of his team members here so he's going to have to be a little bit careful but looking at the first zone here it is going to be all the way down to the south and a bit to the east as well so it's going to be interesting as most of these teams are nowhere near this zone at the moment and uh, there is always going to be limited spots here in this particular part of um, the map here so it's going to be interesting to see how these teams actually do decide to do their rotations here as uh, we have seen that there's been a lot of success from teams who did actually managed to take the good positions in the circle now of course in round number two we did see that team old man was able to take that chicken dinner as well um and uh, they benefited uh partly uh, against the rule that they moved in a bit later than expected and uh no it looks as though that we have see quack jr here going to town onto the team members of team balats here as uh, they take a, a hit there, legendary G7 going down here. So X7 is going to back out there, but looks like a resurgence here. Going to start exerting that pressure onto Team Noob Agus here. And uh, looks like the, the rest of them are trying to position themselves further north after they finish looting up the fighting arena. And uh, they finish off Mr. Alores. So um that's going to be it for him and uh g7 is finished off by ninjas as they claim that kill so now looking at how things are here it looks like geek fam a little bit separated here as uh they're already without the means to actually follow jangs and savior up to Kempel militar but it should be okay they don't have too many squads around them they just weren't able to get a vehicle i think it was a, a two-man vehicle as well oh no i guess they just really wanted KNY got it, and uh, Jangs to get some exercise there. But anyways, they'll be uh, a little bit safe for the time being here. And uh, in Picado, things are a little bit uh, more developed at the moment, as we do see that there is a little bit more space in between the teams. Now, we see that um, Give Esports having bugged out towards the motel side here, as now Interest Pam, as well as Zodiac and Crown, are going to loot up. Almost in the same spot that uh, the team members from Give Esports were in, so they might not have too much loot there. But it looks like uh, Resurgence here, after having gone through the whole fighting ring and not seeing much else in the northern side, will be bugging out here as they make that early rotation here. So like we were talking about just now, guys, that if they manage to secure a good spot in here, then it's going to be very fortuitous for them. Um, but now the rest of the people here in... Uh, Picado are still going to go at it for the time being here. Now, currently, Picado is not really inside the zone here, and there's two minutes left here remaining for them to actually try and see how they're going to make their maneuvers. So, um, they've 
have to try and see whether or not they can secure a vehicle. The Picado does have some vehicles around there, so we're going to have to see how that part is going to play out at the moment. But all these teams in the north, they have a long way to go. So actually, it's going to be interesting whether or not these teams actually do want to try and disengage further. But like uh, like how we see here, Awful Squad, squad number eight here, is going toe-to-toe uh, -to -toe with uh, Give Esports Bravo. Now, they are generally on the eastern side here, but Ganks here all the way forward here for the rest of Awful Squad as uh, he is actually very close proximity to some of man black rose and dara jebat here are actually moving up further as um it could be a little bit of a tricky situation but supak Choi is going to move all the way to that northern side of el azahar so it could offer a means of uh, protecting and backing up gangs as well missionary and um Don Pablo are going to make their way over as well. But Genks is going to pull out from this area here and uh, play a little bit safe here. I mean, it's still going to be a long way to go here in this round. But uh, we did actually uh, see that Modi and uh, KNY God were not able to get a vehicle themselves to actually join up with Savior and Jangs in uh, Campo Militar. So uh, now they're going to have to try and just hang out a little bit here while they uh, try and see whether or not they can get to drop onto uh, Quack Jr. here, as uh, currently Skip and uh, Croft Barzum here are just looting up in this uh, zone. But they do see, or rather GeekFam does see the vehicle there, so they could actually take advantage of the situation and actually uh, take them out as they are coming back to the vehicle. But um, yeah, they'll have to see whether or not that they get surprised here, but it could actually turn out to be a, a tricky situation here as we see uh, Skip already getting into the vehicle and he immediately gets shot out by Modi and KNY God is going to spot uh, Croft Barzum here as well and it looks like Modi is going to take that one as well as they manage to finish off these two quack players here and secure their vehicle and loot so a nice pickup from them um, but likely they're probably not going to go all the way to Campo Militar here as uh, everyone is already making their rotations down we already see Red Sea moving down from Power Grid we also see um, Tactical Stock also making their way over. It looks like Awful Squad have disengaged as well from El Azahar. And uh, now all these other teams are going to try and uh, use these avenues to rotate. Um, we do see that Minimum Copy here opting to go down south here before they move in further. But now it looks like Creeks here for um, BN Power under a little bit of pressure now from um, Resurgence. But that's going to be it for them as he's the last team member from BN Power, unfortunately. Or actually, I do think that uh, BM Power couldn't play this round, sorry. And uh, I think it was a solo player who just wanted to try his luck. But he did have to run into uh, the Singaporean juggernaut that is uh, Resurgence here. So now they, they move onwards as they look for a good position here. Now, a lot of these uh, compounds here could offer some good line of sight here for the rest of the this area here at the moment. Now, we see that uh, all the way in Lambadita is still going to be a team old man not having making their transition yet. And uh, soon all these other teams are going to be making their way in here and going to be able to find those locations pretty early on. MBT Nobby here, actually on the northeastern side of the circle. They're already inside, but they will probably be for moving further down here in search of greener pastures and uh, moving along the coastal side. That is going to be Minon Kopi here as they try and uh, do their thing. So uh, now there is going to be a lot of movement around here from uh, Tactical Stock right past the team members from Giff Esports. Now Giff Esports came from Picado, so they didn't manage to really secure a vehicle just yet. There's uh, a distinct lack of them, I think, given the number of teams that actually drop in this uh, area here. But they're looking to try and put the hurt onto KMF1. He takes a lot of hits here, and uh, or rather a lot of fire coming his way. He only takes one hit, though. He tries to return a little bit of fire, but mostly he has to rely on his team members here to help him a little bit. But it looks as though Maya the man... Um, or my the man rather actually managed to get the drop onto KMF one, so that's going to be a nice little pickup for him. But now it looks like the other team members from the tactical stock have actually disembarked from their vehicles here and going to try and return fire. Mr. Par taking a little bit of damage here, but uh, they won't be able to really stop the the team members here from Gif Esports too much. But Mr. Par 
is gonna try and stay safe for the time being. He gets the full heal off. Should be okay. Tactical stock here, just trying to back out Rave Chow, just giving him a little bit of a hard time, partly for what happened. But now Resurgence is uh, still trying to hold ground here inside the center of the circle. And it looks as though Red Sea has stumbled across their position at the moment with Pokoyo and Papa Zayat here on the western side or the eastern side here. Now, Kasaki is gonna try and move straight up here. And Pokoyo does have that little truck for cover at the moment. And uh, Kasaki has to try and think about how he's going to advance. So he's deciding to move towards the side here as he tries to make sure that he doesn't actually get a uh, snapshot uh, by Pokoyo in uh, really starting to put uh, significant pressure on Resurgence. But luckily, he's actually backing off closer towards uh, Papa Zayat at the moment. And ooh, looks as though that uh, Buduya probably... Uh, didn't want to play anymore as uh, they were having a pan battle to the death here. And uh, now it looks like Papa Zayat and Pokoyo here are going to try and get away. But it looks like Kasake is finally letting it unleash here. And he manages to knock up Pokoyo. Papa Zayat will be able to get away here. But that's going to be an, a, a player down for Red Sea. And they did start only with three players. So they're down to two. And uh, going to make it a little bit more difficult for them to play off with their game plan that they wanted to have here. Uh, they haven't exactly found a spot. Hahagus does uh, occupy one of the central compounds at the moment, but now there is going to be the Minokopi uh, people over here, which are in quite close proximity, but I, I, I'm pretty soon that this is going to get incredibly congested here, and I think this is really not going to be a lot of space. Now, a lot of the, the teams that I usually see playing these uh, scrims, uh, particularly, I think, Battle Arena, maybe slightly less so for Southeast Asian scrims. People like to dominate the center of the circle and really control the space here. Now, of course, that can win games in its own right, but uh, I think like uh, when we see teams like Dogs from Philippines here, they're able to actually really uh, play both strategies well and uh, really showing their ability to control the space if they do take up those central positions, but that's dependent on whether they're going to really get inside the zone early or not. But of course... The main thing I think is is definitely going to be, um, you know, can you play the other type of game? Would you be able to um, maneuver yourself uh, around the edges of the circle properly and take fights properly as well and rotate when you need to? So now the next circle has shifted all the way to the southeast over here. So that's going to make it interesting here. But it looks like in the blue, we have a number of fights still breaking out. I think uh, Team Balats here finally succumbing to... Uh, the rest of GeekFam after they have uh, met up here, after they move in. Uh, but now Resurgence here are going to try and put some hurt onto the Minion Copy guys. But Minion Copy should be okay here. They have a little bit of natural cover here to prevent them from taking too much in the way of damage at the moment. And now K-Bite's going to return fire onto Big Blue Blurred. And um, he's going to rotate a little bit more as the other team members from Resurgence are making their way over. And it looks like Luvius pops up there. K-Bite's going to try and get some shots onto him. But he's got a lot of mates coming his way. He's going to try and deploy some smokes here. I think he knows that the push is coming. And uh, wow, he was very lucky that Nate fell in such a manner there. But now Brack's going to come over the top here. And k is going to be in a bit of trouble here. Not able to get his uh, primary gun out in time. Big Blue Bird going to take down Rozok D before he takes a hit there. And he's going to use whatever time that he does have to get up his teammate. Darkas and Snazu are all the way in the back. But because Kasake here is going to be able to catch out Darkas here. So that's going to be a full sweep here for uh, Resurgence here as they wipe out the rest of uh, Minion Kopi. But they do have two players down and Big Blue Bird is basically dead. <laughs> Well, but still able to walk pretty much. And now with the new circle revealing itself, uh, looks like Freaky Board Team here have actually decided to make their way into this central area. Now they do have a good sized compound there, as do uh, MBT Nobby here, as they did manage to try and get um, quite a decent position. Red Sea also opting to uh, take a position early. Now it looks like Six Gaming coming all the way from Valle del Mar have set up shop here in the southern part of the circle. And in Puerto Paricio here, we see that um, it's going to be that mixed team, um, originally supposed to be Koyak Gaming, but I think they couldn't play the rest of the game. So we do have a, a mixed team just trying to duke it out there. Now they've been able to pretty much loot that whole town there by themselves. Now it's to get into a good position here. But we see e give Esports Bravo here, giving uh, the rotating uh, Buduya uh, team members a little bit of a hard time. The last two remaining after they had their own internal pan fight just to see who should be... Uh, they're number one and number two players, respectively, most likely. But your guess is any good as mine, guys. Um, 
Now we will be seeing other teams all making their way over here. Looks like the, the rest of the Noob Agus team here moving in all the way from the western side. Now they got a bit to go here. here. But Hahokus and Papa Side here going to shoot at 6 Gaming here. Who are currently uh, all caught out in the open. But there is a little bit of range available to them. Which uh, give them some respite. But Hahokus able to nail a nice headshot with the SLR there. And NDBG is going to be going out for tonight's uh, round four here. Um, now, the rest of the six gaming guys are going to try and just advance to these compounds here. Just try and get a little bit of a better position. But we see that all the teams are making their way in over here. Geek Fam have uh, started to move inside to the play zone here. And uh, we did see them in round number two that they did have faced a lot of problems because they came in late into the circle and really didn't have a lot of space. Not only that, I mean, they do get a lot of good loot at uh, Keppel Militar, but it was always going to be difficult for them to try and take up a dominant position inside the zone. But now, looks like Resurgence here in rotation. Big Blue Bird taking quite a few hits there uh, from Dick Gina and Moon Pool Knight, but it looks like a uh, squad for fun here. Just going to hang in there a bit more. So Dick Gina also taking a little bit of return fire. So now it looks as though the circle has shifted a l towards the northeast side here. And uh, it's still going to be oh, pretty good for a uh, freaky board team. But now MBT Nobby here have to make a decision. Do they actually want to try and navigate themselves uh, into a better spot here? Looks like Red Sea is going to do that here. As they do not want to try and play on the edge of the circle too, guys. So if they can take up that position a position inside the, the circle, they could actually uh, just try and put a, as much fire as possible and just really divert other teams from coming in there thinking that it might be a full squad. But ooh, a bit of mishap there for uh, Team 6 Gaming here as they knocked over one of their own players. But the, the res should be fine. Um, but they are down to three players after Andy BG was taken out by Hahakus earlier on. But now in the northern side, we already see, see Team Old Man here. Our winners from round number two um, are just trying to put a little bit of pressure onto the squad members from Give Esports Bravo. Now, they are not inside the circle at the mom moment, Give Esports Bravo, so they do have to try and navigate this situation carefully. And uh, that's exactly what uh, the team members here from uh, Team Old Man and Three Boys here do actually want to do. They want to prevent uh, too much uh, in the way of uh, free entry inside this zone. So whatever pressure that they can put on, the better here. But now looks like more rotations in the south here as Six Gaming here trying to catch some other teams out in rotation. And it looks like uh, Rave Chow and uh, Dreams explode into a ball of flames as A6 is able to use that barrel to finish them off. Um, so only nine holy left there for uh, for the rest of his squad, and uh, looks like Gary Ang here in trouble as he runs into the two members from Team Buduya, and uh, nine holy even coming very close proximity here, and he is actually going to turn around. I don't even know whether he is actually um, able to spot them, and it looks like Gary Ang going to meet his end there. So six gaming down the two players here, as uh, we now see that the circle is going to start making its move. Uh, pretty soon here, or very slowly, in fact. Uh, Geek Fam have managed to come to Puto Paracio here, but that's probably just going to be a place where they hold up for the time being, as uh, it is really wiped clean, I'm sure, by Koyak Gaming or the mixed team after they were there for five to ten minutes? An insanely long time. So now we do see that more pressure is coming onto the, the team members of uh, Give Esports Bravo as the team old men and three young boys here trying to advance closer. But looks like Unholy did stray too close to the sun there as he gets picked off. But looks like Taicho and the rest of uh, his mix team are going to be putting more hurt this time onto Buduya here after uh, they revealed their position after firing onto uh, Nine Holy. So now, looking at how things are developing here, the rest are moving in. We already see that uh, uh, one of the players here knocked down for uh, Give Esports Bravo as now they are trying to just try and get into the zone. They did manage to get Mrs. Bourne back up there. Uh, Samoon Man leading the charge inside the center of the circle, but they don't have a good position. They don't have uh, uh, their bit on the low ground side here as a. Uh, they can't really spot out the players here, except for maybe Elliot, who's looking over the top. But looks like Old Man taking some hits here as uh, Elliot able to knock down Black Rose there. And now the blue zone is moving in. And um, 
they should still have that little bit of cover there available to them. But now they are a little bit trapped and it's going to favor very much. Oh, Old Man gets knocked down. But old Team Old Man still in a good spot. They can move easily into the circle and they can still put pressure onto uh, give Esports Bravo. But they do have more time available to them. And Freaky board team here. Look as a Freaky... Uh, free keyboard team is uh, still in a good position here. Uh, they are in the southern region here. There are not a lot of compounds at all. This is going to all be natural terrain fighting over here. And uh, they can gatekeep all these uh, teams in the south here. But currently, it doesn't look good over here for uh, the rest of the team Uduya. As uh, currently, they have to try and get their player up. But they are a little bit pinned in. They do not have a very good terrain advantage here. And uh, looks as though Moon Cool Knight gonna go down here as uh there's a little bit of a squeeze between resurgence here as well as uh gif esports gif esports uh taking out or rather big blue bird still manages to get dig gina who's trying to climb that hill um so now they are gonna try and engage a little bit here they are relatively close to the circle and uh resurgence does have the option to go on the slightly lower ground on the road just to get inside the zone but uh, looks as though that there's a squeeze here. This time, a long range shot coming from Elliot after he's able to knock down Bunny Hop. And uh, he's going to take some refuge inside the smokes there for the time being. But now the long range fire is consistently coming over here. And that's going to make life increasingly difficult. Bunny Hop gets knocked down again here. And there's a, a little bit of a human shield, I dare say. So they're going to just try and their luck here see what they can do but mr pa gets caught out by resurgence here after they continue to put pressure onto them and uh we can't really see them getting into the circle unless they have a lot of smoke grenades here mr pa getting taken out and uh looks like uh please call me gets taken down leaving only bunny hop and maya the man here and uh looks like a pretty savage uh, crossfire between uh team old man and resurgence for the time being here so Maya the man here does manage to get off the heel though and they at least cut out some of the angle here uh, to prevent resurgence from doing too much more damage but things are looking very tense here in the southern part of the circle here they are just creeping inside they have MBT Nobby here currently uh, very much next to uh, the two remaining Red Sea players and uh, things are getting crowded here as we do see that the Oh yeah, gaming or the mixed squad of squad number 12 is actually also moving in from the southwest um we do also have uh the two or one member here from uh buduya taking down asmix and in fact and can he get the confirmed kill tyler coming up to support his teammate able to knock and eliminate 28 sk so that's going to be it and there's going to be only 11 teams left alive here and now looking at how things are going to develop here for the time being we will be seeing geek fam here trying to exert their own pressure this time onto um, awful squad at the moment as they knock down uh gen x here or ganks as uh now a little bit of hits onto Supak Choi as well. Modi is moving up on the high ground. KNY God is just trying to advance further himself, but he takes a little bit more refuge behind that little bit of cover that he has. Gangs here not being res by his teammate 69 Missionary, opting to go onto the high ground and prevent the flank from being uh, too detrimental for his team. But from the looks of things here, wow, in such a quick moment. Uh, sorry, I wasn't able to catch that, but it does look like that's going to be it for... Uh, uh, MBT Nobby here, but looks like there were some big casualties as well for squad number 12 here as um, Vine should be able to get up his teammate, but Red Sea um, opting not to get involved in that fight and uh, Haha Goose just waiting for any potential advancement coming here, but currently there is still going to be a free keyboard team here who is going to actually uh, make it a little bit difficult for all these teams to get in A6 and uh, the rest of six gaming here also trying to get inside and um, try their luck but it looks as though that uh, the team members of um, uh, gif esports game uh, got in a little break here as resurgence has moved down further a little bit south so they actually do get a little bit of a benefit there as they did manage to get an mk14 as well so a nice little boon for them and uh looking at how things are it looks like red sea has been spotted here but they are going to be facing problems here on their east side as uh, not only do they have the blue at their backs they have cold blood and asics moving up here and they could actually be uh uh Quite sneaky here as uh, looking at, at things. Hagus is caught out in the open, but it looks like Papa Zai will be the first to get hit here. And now Hagus does have time to uh, 
maneuver himself a little bit but as the nade comes out here uh, towards A6 it's a little bit far here and Hagus should be okay as well but he takes a little bit of damage from that but the next nade looks ooh, really close here as um, Papa Zayat here will be left by himself Hagus just going to try and leg it now as he tries to get through but he's got like no health left and he's got out by John C nobody but now looking at things, uh, looks like uh, Geekfam putting more of a squeeze onto the team members from uh, Awful Squad. It's now 69 Missionary trying to come ar around the side. Madi will have to try and see whether or not he can actually get into a position to spot this coming out. But looks like uh, as Missionary is the last player left alive. He's going to try and run for it. But looks like KNY God and Madi are going to combine and take him out. So that's going to be it for Awful Squad in round number four. Uh, but coming in from the north is going to be the incoming team members from uh, GIF Esports Bravo as they did manage to uh, survive the long-range onslaught from uh, Team Old Man as now they are actually trying to make their way down the low ground and uh, it, there's not a lot of cover for them. They are getting inside some vehicles to try and make their way over. Whereas the rest of uh, Giffy Sports Squad number 18 is also trying to engage now with Resurgence. Resurgence does have four players up here, um, but they have one player that does need to be res at the moment. And uh, now we have a little bit of a 2-2 split coming out from Free Keyboard Team. So now Free Keyboard Team gonna just try and uh, hold their position for the time being while they put pressure onto these other players. But if uh, Resurgence is able to get a, a pick onto... Uh, the players of John C. Nobody and uh, Patek Felipe, uh, it could be a bit different situation there as uh, they would be able to push them with their excessive numbers. But now looks like they are trying to focus their attention onto Gip Esports and uh, SLR shots and Car98 is coming out. Luvia is able to hit Bunny Hop and he escapes with just a tiny bit of life remaining. There might have been a neck shot right there. Looks like long range fire will be coming out as well from free keyboard team as well as they try and make things as difficult as possible but now looking at things though looks like free keyboard team still inside the circle here and uh looks like geek fam could gatekeep the rest of gift esports bravo but now looks like bunny hop has been knocked down by kasaki here and resurgence looks as though they want to finish this fight here they are on the edge of the circle they can afford the time to take this fight here but looks like KNY got here caught out a little bit by semut man he should be able to finish it and he does body now all the way out out a way out of cover and he's gonna have to try and fall back a little bit savior able to knock down mrs born now and he's gonna try his best to spot out the rest of the teams here and mrs born taking a lot of fire as well as uh savior trying to finish him off and he will do that just that but Modi gets caught out by uh free keyboard team now as well so the smoke will be coming out from Modi here as they try and save him but uh savior is going to be uh, unfortunately, not the savior for today for his teammates as he is going to be the last player left here for Geek Fam. Now, Simon Man and the rest are coming up onto his position and it looks like he will be able to finish it. So, Geek Fam goes out in fifth position. But now, looking at things, Team Old Man here going to come up onto this position occupied by Resurgence at the moment as they all try and rotate into this northwestern side of the circle. And it looks like uh, they are caught in a big crossfire here. They also have pressure. Coming in from uh, Free Keyboard Team as Brax and Luvius go down, Blue, Blue Bird is going to try and fend off the, the pressure here. But it looks like Elliot and Prashen are going to come and rain on his parade as uh, they knock him down as well. Leaving only Kasaki as the lone player for Resurgence who's left here. And it uh, looks like uh, it's going to be a bit of a tight squeeze pretty soon. But for the time being, these teams have managed to find their spots. But it looks like Free Keyboard Team... Here with still with the two to split are really getting a lot of good angles here and making it increasingly difficult for these other teams to move inside the zone safely um but kasaki has managed to do it here and uh give esports bravo here also having a lot of terrain to work with at the moment as they can try and navigate through this potential zone but as uh as things stands here it is going to be a bit, a bit of a tricky situation they are attracting a bit of fire here as now kex is here and uh, Salka going to try and pull in that long range fire and prevent them from advancing further inside the zone. Now, the middle of the circle here is very much out in the open. So it's going to be interesting to see how this next zone will actually make these teams uh, adjust their play style a little bit. And I think the team that has the most to lose will definitely be Free Keyboard Team if they do not 
uh, have at least some close ground there. But of course, they can try and just put more pressure onto these other teams inside the relative zones. As we see, um, Team Old Men, despite having all their players up, are in a very narrow position. But they are still bringing a vehicle along with them in case they need to use that for cover. And it looks as though that they do have the zone here. And uh, they will try and just stay put for the time being. The rest of uh, these teams actually do need to make their way in. Kasaki probably going to play it a bit carefully here as he waits for this fight to play out a little bit. It is still a four-man squad against uh, a three-man squad over here. While there are still three members of GIF Esports Bravo moving across the ground there away from the vision of uh, Free Keyboard. But Elliot's going to still try and put up some shots here. He's able to see actually uh, Patek... Felipe and John C. Nobody uh, move out in the open. Kax is going to return fire at the moment. They do have that ditch, but it doesn't actually help them to stop uh, too many of these players oncoming. It looks like Rain Zero is going to get caught out by Salka as he actually gets um, uh, sniped a little bit there. And uh, now it looks like John C. Nobody and Patek Felipe here going across the road and try and advance on this position. It looks as though this could be a bit of a meat grinder here coming up for team old man as they have to face the pressure coming in from all sides here the same old man will be able to glance some good shots onto old man and looks like rain zera and uh la are gonna try and do the best that they can here while this uh attack is coming in here but it looks as though the the team members from free key keyboard team here are going to make things a little bit difficult. Elliot going down here as Salka advances onto the position. Reigns Era is hidden in the smoke here. And he's going to stay there for the time being. But oh, the nades are coming out in the smoke for the time being. And it could be a difficult situation. Reigns Era losing a bit of smoke there. And it looks like Salka will be able to finish that part off. But now it looks like Patek P who goes down here as John C. Nobody actually cleaning up a little bit on uh, this side as well as he takes down Black Black Rose. But now Salka and John C. Nobody going to advance on Samut Man here as they look to try and finish it. They are deploying the smoke there to try and then reduce the amount of um, audio capabilities that uh, Samut Man has to detect this uh, potential push here. But little does he know he's right in the middle of this smoke here. Now Samut Man going to try and hold his position for the time being. He does hear the the footsteps and the shots there so he's going to pop out there and catch Salka all on his own there so now leaving it uh only to Patek Felipe and John C nobody for free keyboard team as uh now there is going to be a potential risk coming in from Samut Man here now there there was that uh indication that it was happening but Kasake here will catch uh Patek Felipe out here and it looks like uh it's going to be a two on one on one situation as now, looking at this circle, John C. Nobody here going to try and see whether or not he can spot out these last team members here. And it looks like he will be able to spot Samon Man out in the open here. And uh, looks like Dara Jebat here also going to get caught out. So it's going to be a one-on-one -on -one situation between John C. Nobody and Kasaki. So Kasaki able to really stay alive to the very end. And uh, Free Keyboard Warriors uh, bleeding the players there towards the later stages as they were taking a number of fights themselves. But now Kasaki is going to try and advance up onto the high ground, see whether or not he can get a good deep position and uh, high ground advantage as well. So he's going to be very mindful of where the last player might be here as he's able to see a little bit of John C. Nobody and he's going to get him by surprise there. So Kasaki with a real clutch performance this, and making good decisions on exactly when to get inside the zone. And uh, even though he was the last player for quite a while, the entire of Resurgence managed to churn out 19 kills in that game. So excellent performance from them as they managed to take that chicken dinner. So uh, the, in second place, we do have a free keyboard team, very consistent. They did manage to get amongst the top places almost every single round, if not mistaken. And in third place, we do have uh, GIF Esports Bravo that did manage to also stay alive to the very end, but they did engage in that one messy battle there together with the uh, free keyboard team as well as um, team old man and three young boys. So uh, that's going to be them getting third place. And in fourth place is... Uh, one old man and I guess two young boys there as uh, they managed to put up a lot of pressure onto the teams in the northern side there. But they did take a number of battles all at once there and they were all caught out in the ditch there. So uh, they just tried to do their best but they had three different teams all around them and it was never going to end well from that. And uh, in fifth place we have Geek Fam. They did manage to stay alive uh, pretty solid, solidly taking out Team Awful Squad as uh, they also 
ran into uh, uh, Gif Esports uh, Bravo, and that was going to be a difficult situation for them. And uh, that rounds up the top five guys. And uh, yeah, in round one, we did see that uh, there was that win coming in from Red Sea. In round number two, we had Team Old Man taking the win. In round three, we had Geek Fam, and in round one, we have Resurgence here. So. Pretty balanced evening today, guys, as uh, we were able to see many different teams really rise to the challenge here and take the chicken dinner. Now, I think overall, GG and well played to all teams here. So thanks for watching this. You're watching Play of the J, and uh, I'll see you guys again pretty soon.